Good morning, you guys. So it is currently, I think it's Monday at like 9 a.m. What is going on with my hair? I look... <laughs> um, so I thought that I would just start vlogging today because I have a lot to do, I guess. Um, my laundry list is forever long and... Yeah, I just want to vlog more, so we're going to get a little bit of like everyday life here, I guess. Um, and then I also have a hair appointment that I wanted to vlog for you guys. Um, but it's Monday, um, and I have some wedding things I need to get done, some contracts and stuff I need to sign and finalize, and some big checks I need to write. And then um, I need to pay some bills. I need to film a video because I was supposed to do that yesterday, but I was just in like such a foul mood yesterday. So I like didn't even bother because I knew it would just come off so poorly on camera. Like I would just be like a raging asshole because I was in such a salty mood for whatever reason. I have no idea. Um, so I have to edit, I have to film, edit that and get it up tonight. Um, what else do I have to do? Yeah, just some like admin stuff, I guess. Um... So yeah, I don't really know what this vlog is gonna entail, but I figured I would pick up my camera, start vlogging more. I don't know, you guys seem to like the vlog, so I figured let's keep doing them. I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Let me know if you guys do like them. Um, so yeah, I have all that stuff to do. The dogs are currently outside having their potty break. I slept in pretty late today, which I'm kind of annoyed with myself. I did not wanna do that, but I didn't hear my alarm go off, which was really, really weird. Um, so anyways, I woke up, did my skincare, all that kind of stuff, and now I'm gonna have some breakfast, aka I'm gonna have some coffee. Um, so yeah, let's get the day started. So it's like noon now. Um, I just got done filming. That did not go according to plan. For some reason, like I just couldn't film a video today. It was just not going very well. But you know, it's done. It is what it is. So I'm actually going to sit here and edit for a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm not crazy about this makeup look. Um, but I just brought my laptop down. I'm gonna start editing that. Um, and then we'll see where the rest of the day takes us. I just let the dogs out and everything. I don't know why, I'm just like not in the mood for beauty videos lately. I don't, I'm like struggling with this so hard. I don't know why, but for some odd reason, I'm just like not doing well <laughs> filming and editing. I just haven't felt like it and I just, ugh, it just hasn't been good lately. Um, so yeah, I'm going to sit here and do some work and then I think I need to have some lunch. Maybe that's the issue. I'm not really hungry though. I don't really know what the hell is going on with me. <sighs> All right, so I know I look a little bit crazy because I ripped off my eyelashes and stuff, but I just went to go get the mail and my boxy charm was here. This is the boxy Lux. Um, for those of you who don't know how it works, boxy charm is like a monthly subscription thing. I think it's like $21 for a box of like three to five, four to five full size products, I think it is. And I actually signed up for boxy Lux. So 
every season, every other month. I don't know what it is, but um, instead of getting the regular BoxyCharm, you get like the big box. So, sorry, I'm like so out of breath because I just ran to the mailbox. Um, this is my big month, I guess. So we have quite a few. It's like the all access whatever thing. Um, so this is what we're working with. Um, let me see, the first thing in here, Glow Recipe Pineapple Sea Bright Serum. Ooh, I'm so excited to try this. Ooh, I cannot wait. I've seen this at Sephora. Um, I normally use, I have like a Tatcha Vitamin C Brightening Serum, but I think I'm almost out of it. I don't know, I can't remember. Nice. This is what it looks like. Um, and this guy, how much is it? This isn't, oh, it's on here. This is normally $49. So the box like pays for itself, essentially. So yeah, I thought I would just do like a quick little unboxing with you guys. I'm really excited about this. How does it smell? Mm, it smells like chemically pineapple. I don't know if I'm obsessed with the scent of that. Next, we have another skincare. This is the Dr. Brandt Hydrobiotic recovery sleeping mask i use the dr brandt like the new um cleanser from them oh that's sealed oh it smells interesting though um i think i'm gonna save this for a giveaway because i use the jet lag mask i don't really need this a hydrating recovery sleep mask deeply hydrates moisturizes yeah i don't think i really need this i'm gonna give this away to somebody i think so make sure you're subscribed to my channel for future giveaways. I'm gonna do one here really, really shortly. If I hit my subscriber goal, I'm really excited. Next, I have the Hank and Henry Slick With It Blickety Black Longwear Liquid Eyeliner. I have so many of these, gonna save this for a giveaway as well. This is the Violet Voss Essentials Pro Series Eyeshadow Palette. Ooh, mama. That's pretty. That's really pretty. Okay, I am keeping this. I am such an eyeshadow junkie and I haven't purchased a new eyeshadow palette in such a long time. So I think I'm gonna hang on to this guy. So the Dr. Brandt thing is $52 and then the Violet Voss eyeshadow palette is $29. Then I have, I have this already as well. So I will save this for a giveaway too. This is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess palette. Hmm. Let me see, let me, let me just make sure this is the one I already have. Yep, I already have this. It's a really, really great contour palette, um, so. All right, what do we have next? Next we have the Mistress Hydrating Hair Balm with coconut oil, leave-in conditioning balm that won't weigh hair down. If you have dry, coarse, frizzy hair, apply to damp or dry hair, air dry and blow out. Ooh, I actually was gonna buy this from that smells good. I was gonna buy this from Sephora, so I'm gonna keep this guy. And then what do we have here? A Stale, stale Day Liquid Lipstick and Angelo. You know these are my favorite. Like, I love the Stila all day. Let me see the color. Ooh, that's so pretty. Yes, ma'am. And then last but not least, I have the Moda Studio Eight Piece Pro Glam Set. I actually really like these brushes. I have some of them. Let me see, what do we have here? Oh wow, these look really nice. Eight piece brush set with $69.99. Are you joking? Okay, wow, holy shit. And then in case you were wondering, that eyeliner was $20 and the Steel All Day Liquid Lipstick is 22. So this box is like pretty good quality. So yeah, if you were ever curious about what comes in the BoxyCharm boxes, they're really, really good in my opinion. I love them. It's a nice little surprise every month. Of some fun little products and um, if I don't use everything I always give it away I never let it go to waste um, and it's just an opportunity for me to give you guys some stuff so yeah there's that um I have just been working on the computer all day I did get my video uploaded so if you haven't seen it yet I just uploaded a new video on like all drugstore makeup there we are. So be sure to check that out next. Um, I'm sure I'll leave a card or it linked at the end of this video if you're interested. Full face drugstore first impressions. 
Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna make some dinner. I don't even know what time it is or where my phone is or anything. I'm like kind of a mess right now, but I gotta feed the dogs, make some dinner, and that's pretty much it. Super exciting stuff here on my day off. I tend to do like nothing and just like stuff around the house that I don't have time to do during the week. Um, like I said, I was just doing like a lot of admin stuff and those kind of things. Um, so yeah. Also super, super random, but I'm obsessed with these, the Voss waters, but this is, what is this? The lemon cucumber, it's like a seltzer and it's flavored lemon cucumber. At first I was kind of like, eh, whatever, but now I think these are so freaking good. All right, you guys, so I am currently in my guest bathroom right now. I am about to start cleaning some makeup sponges and some makeup brushes. Um, I get a lot of questions on how I like clean these and like sanitize them and stuff. So right now I'm just cleaning my personal collection. Um, I do take a few extra steps for like my kit collection for sanitary reasons. Like I'll use a little bit more like alcohol and stuff like that. But this is just how to clean or like how I clean my personal collection. Um, so yeah, I have my brushes here. These are not all of them. These are just the ones that I typically use like every day. This is kind of like my go-to stash. As you can see, they're pretty grimy looking. And then <laughs> this, I hate cleaning sponges. So I literally wait until they're like, literally every single one of these is dirty. Like I keep this on my beauty table desk, whatever. And every time I use a sponge, I basically just like throw it in the dirty pile. I usually use a sponge like two or three times before I put it in the dirty pile. Like some of these don't look very used. Like this was only used like one time probably. But I just, I don't like to chance it with like, like that was barely used. I don't know, I just don't wanna chance it with like bacteria and stuff. Like, and nothing is more disgusting to me. I don't know if it's because of like being a makeup artist that you're like taught so much about sanitation, like something about picking up a sponge that I wet and used already is like so disgusting to me. So basically to clean my beauty blenders, I just use the beauty blender cleanser liquid. This is a brand new one. And then for my brushes, I will go in with the Cinema Secrets quick drying 99.99% bacteria free. I try and clean my makeup brushes after like every third or fourth use. Usually it's sooner because I won't go on, like I don't wanna use a brush that has product on it, like a purple eyeshadow and then dip into like a pink eyeshadow or like a blue eye, you know what I mean? Like you don't wanna use dirty brushes in like a different eyeshadow shade. So I clean these pretty often and then these, like I said, I just wait till they're all like dirty and then once I'm starting to run out, I think I have like one left, then I will clean these guys. If you guys can't hear me, I do have the dishwasher running. Um, <laughs> hi. I'm just cleaning up around the house and everything. Um, but basically, after I've washed my sponges with the Beauty Blender cleanser, then I will just fill like a microwave safe bowl with some water. And then basically I will just plop in all my freshly cleaned sponges and I will make sure that they are fully saturated. So I kind of just like squish them in the water and let them absorb. A lot of it so that way they kind of just like hang out in there and they're all like huge and like blown up some of these aren't gonna get the cleanest because they're stained um, I kind of just eyeball like what needs to go when like what needs to get tossed but like as you can see these all get like pretty freaking big I'm just gonna jam that guy up in there okay perfect so everything is covered in the water and they are all fully saturated so then I'm just going to plop them into the microwave and I'm going to shut that and I'm going to put it on probably like a minute. Um, I don't want to like obviously fry them, but I do want them to bake like a little bit. 
um, like get the water boiling up in there so that way the heat will kill any of the bacteria that's left over. Alrighty, so once you have them out of the microwave, be careful, they might be a little bit hot. Just gonna kinda squeeze them clean. As you can see, the water is a little bit cloudy, but that's just soap. You don't see any brown discoloration or anything, so that means I did a good job of cleaning them. And I'm just gonna lay them and they're just gonna sleep on this towel overnight basically just take a little nap and just let them air dry and that is pretty much how i clean my beauty blenders Alrighty, you guys so i am going to finish getting all these dishes put away and everything and feed these out of control dogs i need to feed myself and then I'm gonna take all this makeup off and go to bed. It's been a long but productive day. I think I'm gonna chill for a little bit. It's like six o'clock now, so I still have a little bit of time. Got everything done on my to-do list. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will see you in my next video. Bye.